It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Uh, the next question, Brian, is from Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, my 20-year-old niece lives at home, makes $3,000 per month, and wants to buy a Tesla. Do you have any advice on how to get her started on the foo versus being stuck in FOMO? Um, he's a 20-year-old 20, 20 niece? 20-year-old niece, lives at home, makes $36,000 a year, and uh, she wants to buy a Tesla. Okay, Jeremiah, here's how, you, here's how you make sure she can't buy the Tesla. You raise rent. You charge her rent. <laughs> if you charge her now, rent, now, I don't she'll know. no longer he be said able it's to... His, he said it's his niece. I don't know if she lives with him. She might live oh, okay. at her parents' house. Oh, I don't know that. So okay, I don't... Okay. That, he may not have different. control over the rent. But the, the only way you can afford to buy a Tesla if you are making $36,000 a year is if you're living somewhere for free. Uh-huh, yep. Because pretty much a lot of that monthly payment is going to go towards mm-hmm. the car payment. And and this is, I talked about this on today's show a little bit, is that, guys, be careful trying to accelerate those life decisions so you look cool or you're trying to get to something too soon. Because a Tesla, I love Tesla, but it is, I mean, it's getting there. I mean, because they're even going to come out with a more affordable version. But in the reality of the situation we currently live in, Teslas aren't cheap. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter if you're talking about the 3, the Y, the S, or the X. They all are what I consider premium pricing. And luxuries, yeah. Because you're going to spend in the 50s to 60s, even at the lowest of, of, of expenses. So it's it's one of those things where I, a, a 20-year-old who makes $3,000 a month the incremental cost to their future self is huge. And they're going to find, they're going to be disappointed because, yes, they're going to have a Tesla, but they're not going to have the Roth IRA. They're not going to have the 401k with the full match. And that's the money that's going to create the true independence that allows them to be wealthy instead of just looking rich. And remember, I've said this multiple times. You're, the goal is not to look rich. It's to actually build wealth and be rich. Mm-hmm. And so many young people, because of the gram and all the other things that they're trying to show off for and flex for, they miss that point. I would tell Jeremiah, you got to get your niece researching content like the Money Guy Show, reading books like The Wealthy Barber and other things for younger investors so that you understand every dollar – has so much potential and time. If you look at the three components of wealth creation, you have discipline. That means you actually live on less than you make. In addition to discipline, you you use a portion of that margin to create money that gets invested. That's the second component, money that's invested. That leads to three. The most valuable component of wealth creation is time. So a 20-year-old has the potential for every dollar to become $88 at retirement. She only has to invest $95 a month Mm -hmm. to become a millionaire. So a Tesla is realistically probably going to cost close to $1,000 a month if you were buying this, even if you extended it out multiple years on Mm -hmm. the amortization. So $1,000 a month could literally, for and I don't care, even with inflation, could potentially cost your niece close to $10 million mm-hmm. at retirement. That's a disaster. Yeah, I, I would say the two big things I would do immediately, you said it, uh, buy the wealthy barber for her. You know, go ahead and order on Amazon, have it shipped to her. And then you should go to the moneyguy.com slash resources resource page and download our uh, wealth multiplier, how powerful are your dollars, and just walk through it with her. If you want to get her excited, maybe say, hey, if you do a Roth IRA, I'll do an uncle match for you where you put in X number of dollars and I'll match up to this level. Get her excited about investing. Get her mind to shift into thinking about order of operations and wealth building instead of FOMO and looking really cool. Because if you can have her mindset shift at the age 20, she will be off to the races on her wealth building journey and she'll be able to buy all the Tesla she wants one day if she can figure, figure that out early.